Good morning, guys. It is a beautiful, crispy, fall-like morning. It's crazy. The weather has gotten so much cooler within the last week. Fish will be biting this morning. The conditions are absolutely gorgeous. There's a little bit of wind, but not much. So Andy and I have been doing a lot of um, bait fishing lately, and as you guys know from my old videos, I absolutely love artificial fishing. So that's what we're gonna do mainly today. We've got some popping corks, some regular jigs, and we're gonna go see if we can find some fish, uh, maybe some slot drum. Highly doubt trout, but flounder season did just open up for a really short window, so that would be awesome if we could we could maybe catch a flounder. We'll see what happens, so stay tuned. Appalachian sunrise meets my skin. Even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it coming in. Golden, golden, I'll follow only golden, 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 golden things. Mountain laurel high fives for miles in spring. Alright you guys, we made it to a spot this morning. That was a little brisk ride. It's like we've been used to this 90 degree weather every single day and now you get a little bit of like 60s to 70s and it feels freezing outside. I feel like around here popping corks is like the thing, but I don't really feel like using a popping cork. So, are you going to use a popping cork? Yeah. Okay, so if Andy starts catching fish on the popping cork, then I might be persuaded to. I'm just gonna kinda bank bang our way around, wait to see some bait hopefully show up, and yeah, hopefully catch some fish to eat. So you can see what I'm talking about, the riprap here that we're gonna be fishing. I have seen some mullet jump in, pop in, right up on the bank, so it is time to wet a line. Fishing straight braid to jig, baby. <laughs> I'm gonna start from there. Tried and true here. White curly tail. If we hit anything going this slow, we'll be all right. Lots of mullet jumping around. They remind me of those uh, Asian carp. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <Just, laughs> drag is super loose. Okay. It might be a pup. It's coming straight to the boat. Head shakes. Looks like a blue. It's a big trout. Oh, it's a big trout. Oh, baby. <laughs> yeah. <Yes! laughs> nice. Woo! Oh, my god. Nice fish, Heidi. My forte, baby. Oh shoot, he choked it. Good Look thing at he's that. a keeper. Keeper trout, keeper trout, keeper trout. Yes, we got some food. Fish tacos for lunch, huh? Yes. Look at that. What a beautiful trout. 
Oh man, he absolutely swallowed that curly tail. Nice fish. Oh god, oh god. I got blood all over my new sweatpants. These trout have literally disappeared all summer because it's been so hot, obviously, and they like it a little cooler. So now that we're getting closer to the end of September, they're starting to show up again. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. I can feel the rock where it's coming out on this point. I can feel it kind of coming out on the bottom. Oh, there's another one. Oh, come on. Come on. Take it, take it. guess all they needed was that little cold snap. Yeah. I've been getting bites when I've been moving it really, really slow. As you guys can see, my my tail is like barely hanging on there. They're liking it extremely slow though, so I'm gonna try to just keep it really slow as much as my heart rate is up right now. Low and slow. What's your confidence level at right now? I can just tell you don't think we're gonna get another bite. Like a two? <laughs> All right, got one. Oh, it's a flounder! It's a flounder! Net or no? Uh, no, he's super tiny. He's liable to come off if he comes up again. Those head shakes, let's see if we can get a clean release. Ow! Did you just get bit by something? Yeah. He's not coming off. Whoa. Ho hold up. That is so Whoa. cool. You guys, he's got colors on both sides. Normally a flounder has a white belly. That has got to be something lucky. Look at that. That is crazy. I have never seen that before. He's like a, a piebald. Or the opposite of a piebald. Wow, little floundy. We need one much bigger than that guy. That was cool. <laughs> uh, I think I have a fish has it in his mouth, I'm pretty sure. I think it's a flounder. Yep. Got him. Yep. Oh, this one might be a keeper. No, tiny. That's how a flounder should look. <laughs> uh, white belly, camo top. Chill out, chill out, chill out. All right, I'm gonna throw them back, but there's obviously some flounder on these rocks, you guys. That's good to see. I'm back. We're allowed to keep one per person per day. So if we can just get one a little bit bigger than that, we're gonna have an absolute feast. I think I've got one off. Yeah. It feels like it's got some weight to it. For oh. oh my gosh, I almost went in the water. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm definitely gonna need a net on this. Oh my gosh, I'm shaking. This is gonna be a nice flounder. I think he's gonna be a keeper. Oh, it's not even that big. I was freaking out for no reason. Oh, shoot. He might be a keeper though. What do you think, babe? I think it's, it's definitely a keeper flounder. Oh. And he absolutely choked it. Oh, oh. That thing inhaled it. Yeah. So let's make sure he is. Okay, he's 15 and a half. 15 and a half, you guys. Ooh, yeah. 
<laughs> first keeper flounder of 2023. Got the bait back. Right, so shaky. I almost fell off the boat and look at that. Trout and flounder, baby. Ooh. Look at this trout. Oh gosh, now they're, they're sparring. They're sparring. Okay, you guys, I am definitely a happy camper right now. I'm only allowed to keep one flounder during this short little window of time per person. They're gonna be all over these rocks. One thing though, with uh, these flounder, they have been kind of like inhaling the bait. So I would keep fishing just for fun, but I'm afraid that if I did catch another one, he would swallow it and we would have a dead flounder on our hands so that we just have to chuck overboard. You know you're one bite away from a grand slam. I know. I mean, we haven't really been doing a lot of bank banging, fishing, um, to be honest, artificials. We've been kind of caught up with the rat race of these big drum being here and cut bait fishing. So this to me is my jam. I love this. And we got some dinner. We're sitting at 2.8. You can, never mind. What? I was gonna say, if any of y'all who fish out there and you've had to use the bathroom since you've gotten on the water, <laughs> I'm dealing with that situation in a very, very big way. <laughs> we really wanted to come out here and film a video and you know how it is in the morning. If you don't get to use the bathroom before you come out, it's just miserable the whole time. And I have offered to go back in, but he's like, no, we're staying out here. There's fish here. Like we're going to keep ca catching them. So right. just know though that he's apparently in some pain right now. I'm in pain, <laughs> ladies and gents. Uh, I can horn it or something terrible. <laughs> oh, go. nice, 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 nice. Nice. Oh, no. You... A big one. Explain to them what happened, babe. You gotta Fish explain. came off. The flounder came off. <laughs> okay. Gotta be real gentle with him. <laughs> he just said it feels like a wet rag. If you guys are watching this right now, we're all rooting for Andy to tell you what, those bass fishermen, they like to just... <laughs> yep. Be nice. It's the mullet are everywhere in here. Uh-oh. Yeah? Yeah? Okay. Gentle as a baby's bottom. Oh! Such a gay fish. With the trolling motor? Oh! There he is. He's off. Oh! <laughs> so good. How deep is it? <laughs> He's getting serious. Uh, two foot. Okay, guys, it definitely warmed up out there. We fished till about 11.30 this morning. Uh, we got those two fish in the box, the trout and the flounder, and obviously we're back home now. Andy had to run to the bathroom. Gave birth. <laughs> Are you okay? You feel better? Yeah, I'm hungry now. Goofy teeth. Nice beauty. <laughs> so, all right, we got some fish to clean. I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna prep these for a delicious meal. Okay, gills are cut. The flounder, fastest, easiest way to take him out. Um, it's not pretty, but we're gonna cut his head straight off. All right, so these are super, super easy to clean because I like to cook the flounder whole. So what you can do is just give it a nice little light scale job. No. No. <laughs> you can see when we took the head off, all the guts came out of this cavity right here. And then this right here is the bloodline. remove that bloodline and we'll rinse that off inside and this flounder will be perfectly ready for a whole cook all right you guys I caved 
we went and found the sharp knife sharpener so now I can't complain all right beautiful trout about to be filleted up to be a delicious meal should have put my hair up for this Beautiful. Uh. Just gotta take, clean it up, cut that belly meat off and those bones right there, those rib bones. Alright. Two beautiful fillets. Let old fish, you can't get that at McDonald's, folks. All right, I'm just gonna show you um, one of these real quick because you guys have seen me do this a bunch, but it's been a while. It's been a while since I've done this, but it feels so good. All right, just kind of remove that belly rib meat fat there, and that takes those bones out. All right, and then we're gonna take the skin off. I usually leave the skin on, but I kinda wanna. All right. So that is for Andy and I, along with this one, and this, and the other skin, will be for the doggos. <laughs> All right, you guys, that about wraps it up. Um, I am so excited that we got to get out there, get on some fish, got some nice fresh fish to eat, and yeah, uh, stay tuned for the cooking part of this fishing adventure. And uh, I promise to share some really yummy recipes with you guys. So stay tuned for the next video. We're gonna go out this evening and try to catch some more fish. So lots of more fishing videos coming soon. Thank you guys for watching. I love you, bye.